Okay, so let's move on. I'm going to hide this one here. I'm going to hide the clamp. Click on the bottom or the body, press tab to, to get into the edit mode, press the three. And um, yeah, selecting the faces here, Alt Z so we can see our X-ray. And um, I would like to select only the bottom here, uh, just drag and drop. And then we press Alt D, no, which is uh, wrong, Shift D, I'm sorry, I'm not doing that so often, Shift D, and then we just move it up because this is, we have like the same angle, the same dimension, um, and we just want to start using this mesh uh, for our metal inside. And then we are still in the side view, okay, so you press three, it's really important that you are uh, perfectly aligned in, in the side view, and then pre press R, hold control to snap the rotation and then we are perfectly minus 180 degrees okay fine so um let's go out from the x-ray mode and press p selection so this is our new mesh here we call it uh, i call it i don't know mesh metal because for me it's just a metal part you can you can call it whatever you want and now, when we yeah press uh, tab for edit uh, for object mode, press on the top. So we select we actually select the top here, which we just separated, and press tab again to be in uh, edit mode. And then we click on one of this one of these faces, control hold control and plus 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 until everything's selected. And let's see. Yeah, this is what I thought because we, we did an extrusion. So we have two uh, two sides and we don't want that. We have two meshes. We don't want that, of course. So we just press delete all faces. Okay, so we just have the um, the, the, the the one side, just one side of the mesh. Uh, we just extracted or we just copied. Okay, and um, yeah, let's align that. So what we do is press um, seven. You can see it's already it's almost perfect but of course not quite yet so alt z select everything and then we try to take care of this one here and as you can see this looks quite good and then here looks also quite good what we can do when we look at the sides here um it's a little uh, let's align it a little better like press g X and then align so it's really in the, in the center and then maybe make it just a little bit like press S X hold shift and maybe a little bit to fill it up uh, to, to, to really make sure to fill out everything so we have no space in between uh, checking the angles again maybe press S Y hold shift and drag it up a little bit like this Okay, let's check the bottom here. And I think this is pretty much, this looks pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so we now we have something we can work with. Um, go into object mode, Alt Z to exit the X-ray. And what I would like to do is because when we can see, let's open up our reference. We always try to use our reference. What you can see this is the wrong picture. What we can see, uh, we have a bending here, and then uh, it goes it it goes up quite a bit. The whole like the whole mesh goes up quite a bit. So we it, it's um, it reveals more than than I thought. So what we can do is um, we start from here, go up like this is like a um, it's not really a bending, but it's uh, it's it's like a it's um, yeah I don't know. It just goes up straight, and then we have a bend, a little bending here, and then we actually have our our um, our lighter here. So what we do, we try to mimic this body, this uh, mesh. We try to mimic this first. So what we're gonna do? I need more geometry here, down here. So Alt Shift click to make sure we have everything here. Yes, and then. Press E and then Z, E, Z, and drag it down. So we have more geometry here. And may, let's make it uh, Let's make it like this. 
maybe this this should be fine and then we just can easily uh press Control r and insert a loop right here so uh what i noticed here is we have some loops we don't really need so let me just uh alt shift click this one here alt shift click this one these ones and then uh, delete and dissolve edges okay this looks better because we don't really need this geometry and then um all that select everything go out of the x-ray and then g z and move it down uh actually no 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 actually let's leave it up here maybe like this so press three i think this is fine so we just uh take taking care of the of this side here i think this should be fine and um then i'm trying to get this this uh top here we, we need to get this down here so to have like a like an angle or like a slight bending here okay so how we can how we're going to do that um what we can do is we need to know when our um when this stuff here uh, which will be extruded later um when so what what polygons or what what faces we need to uh, to use I, I show you in a bit if this is our lighter here later on we just extrude this so i think this should be this loop here should be fine if you look at the, our reference yeah it should be fine we don't need this one i think it's a little smaller so i think it, it 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 should be like this just the dimension i think it should be like this so what we need here we need to get this down so it goes from here and it goes up so let's try to do that and yeah i would just go in x-ray um, edge mode press three take this and g z and move it down like maybe like this yeah, maybe like this and then we can decide we can have like a bending or we can have like a, a maybe just this edges here um like do an extrusion do an extrusion right here so uh, it's up to it's up to us what we what we do um but if i look at the reference it's just a slight bending just a, just a little bit so what we do press three uh, turn off the subdivision because it's making me nauseous and uh, let's go to, into object mode and hide that here we don't need it for now go back here edit mode so what we need is maybe here let's take four yeah so we have a little bending here and then we go here select everything so we, so we have a bending here should be fine go into object mode turn off x-ray and we can see this is this is an idea this should be fine um let's reveal the bottom and our uh i mean this stuff here this stuff should start exactly where our uh, angle is ending so it should start maybe uh let's say here so what we do we select this maybe this one too yeah should be fine and then we just go up just to get an idea like how big it should be just we go up and see yeah, i think it's it's smaller so we don't need we don't need this faces here i think this is much better maybe like this we, we can adjust this later on and um what you can see here it should be more like a bending it, it, it should not be like straight it should it should have more like a bending so we need to do a little bit of work here to uh, to actually be successful so what i do is press uh, click on these two press g z move it up maybe let's move it up like this quite a bit and then we move this up here g z and move this up as well so we have we can have a bending later now it's it looks flat but later we, we're gonna have a, a nice smooth bending with subdivision and everything so g z and move this down so it's actually yeah okay we can uh, fill this place here with more geometry because we need geometry later maybe let's do four so it's, it looks even and this one here maybe we can just move a little bit to the left so everything looks 
more even. We're also going to use a smooth modifier in the end, just just a little bit, not too much, because it can it can destroy your mesh, but just a little bit. And um, yeah, so this is this is just an idea what we can do. Um, I, I really don't like this uh, this double bending here, so maybe we can just get rid of it. Alt Z, click this one here. G, Z, move this up. And then maybe this one, G. That This is like a little bit of a tedious process, but sometimes when you have like a more complex mesh, uh, you have to do what you gotta do. Okay, I think that, that looks fine. Uh, we also can get rid of this bending here. What, what we can do if you want to get rid of this bending here at the end and have it more like, like really flat, really flat, we can, of course, we can just um, take this one here, delete, delete the spaces, and then select all, oh, sorry, my keyboard, um, select all these edges here. No, uh, let's go out of X-ray mode. Sometimes it's annoying. Okay, let's back to X-ray mode. And then we can press, if we select these edges here, these outer edges, press S, Y, zero, enter. And then you have um, a really, really smooth, or like a really sharp uh, edge here. And then we press E, middle mouse button. You can also use your middle mouse button uh, to lock your axis. And then we drag it out like this. Maybe maybe just do it like this. And then insert Control R, insert another loop so it, it, our topology is more even. So then we can just use this one here, S, Y, zero, so it's smooth. And then let's go into uh, vertex mode, use this one here, and just get it, make it, drag it down a little bit. And we also can drag down this. And just, I'm just trying to align. So this is like, looks more flat. Maybe this one here. So that everything is really smooth. Okay, cool. Yeah. And we can see our topology uh, is not looking so bad. Um, yeah, what we what I'm what I'm seeing here, of course, we just drag this in a little bit, or let's just delete these extra edges here. Alt Shift and click on here, so we select the whole uh, loop, delete these spaces because we don't need that. Okay, so now we have um, basically the same like here. What we what we're gonna do later is, of course, we're gonna do this type of um, this this uh, type of screw or what you or whatever you call it, this clamp holder here. Uh, we are going to um, extrude these later on, but we need to take care of our um, need to take care of our uh, actual lighter here. So what we do, what we can see here, we have a, um, we have quite a lot of bending going on on the edges. It's uh, it's more than we have here on our bottom and our top. So we need a lot of bevel. So the problem is, if I just click here, uh, let, of course, let me remove the top because the top we don't need. So just delete the faces. So if we go to edge mode here and click on these edges, control B and drag it, we can see we can have like a quite a smooth um, edge here, uh, quite a lot of bending. But the problem is we're going to have this ugly, ugly end gun. So we need to get rid of it. So what we actually do, we need to do quite a bit of uh, work. We need to do, we need to fill it out. Okay. Um, it's quite a tedious process, but I will show you how to do it. I will show you a way which is not uh, not so not so stressful, and it, it, it's it's quite okay. It's not so stressful. So what we're gonna do? We will use a mirror modifier later. So we just take care of this of this half, okay? So what we do is uh, press, uh, of course, Control Z to uh, go back one step, and then press three. No, sorry, one. Um, to select the faces. Alt Z. And then we get rid of this faces of these faces. Okay, so all that. So to go back to our um, to go back to our view and exit the X-ray mode. And um, yeah, so let's um, start with uh, creating a lot of bevel here. Okay, so Control B. Maybe actually let's do it at the same time the front at the same time so it's perfectly uh, the same dimension the same the same bending actually yeah let's do it like let's do it like this i think we need quite a lot quite a lot of bending okay 
looks fine to me. But what we have to do now, we need to get rid of our n-gon. So click on this n-gon here and press delete faces. And we, or my, what is my approach? My approach is basically we need geometry here and we need geometry here because we always want to have it really straight and we always want to have polygons. So my approach is I just get um, some edges, as you can see here. Maybe I need an edge here, 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 and here, and here. So we, we insert five edges, okay? Um, you can do whatever you want. This is just my workflow and this workflow, you can uh, copy that, you can try to, uh, to do it like I do. But it doesn't need to be exactly the same. You don't need the exact same topology. You just need the idea on what I do to, in order to have a clean topology later on and uh, having no end guns. So let's do five. Control R, scroll up until you have five um, edge loops and click, double click. And um, so we need to get rid of this one here. And now we can connect. Uh, but but before I connect, uh, let me delete this triangle here. Just delete everything. The more we delete here now, which everything which looks odd, the more we delete, the better, the cleaner the mesh will be later on. Trust me. So we're gonna delete this one as well because this looks stupid. Okay, then we need uh, we have like this one, this one. We have this loop line. We have this, and we have this edge loop, and we have this edge loop. So we need maybe two more. Click once, drag it here maybe in between, between these both, both uh, edge, edge loops, and then bevel it, we only need two. So we scroll down. So maybe like this. And maybe G, Y, and slide it to the left a little bit. Yeah, G, Y, maybe a little bit like this. It doesn't need to be perfect now. Really, it, really, it doesn't really need to be perfect. We just need to fill it out more. So what we can do, uh, this one and this one, uh, click both, a whole shift, and click both edge loops, uh, both edges, sorry, and then F. This one and this one, F. Hold shift, click, hold shift, click this one, F. And just repeat the process until all edges on this dimension here are connected. And we do the same here, 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 here. And I can see we need another uh, loop here because you can see it's uh, we have one, two, three, four, five uh, vertices here. So what we do is control R and go right here. So it looks clean and connect this edge and this edge and press F and connect this edge and connect this edge and press F. Okay, so maybe we can see, um, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm finding a mistake here. So control Z, control Z. Um, yeah, there's a mistake. What we, uh, we forgot one edge loop here. So do it like this, click here. Uh, I think I keep the roundness. I think it looks good. We, we need the roundness. We, we need the roundness here, and then we can connect this one as well, and this one. Okay, so maybe um, we put in another edge loop here to make it even. But uh, for now, we need to do the same process here. Okay, so bear with me. You can see it's it's a good practice. Click on this, delete, and we repeat the process. Okay, I uh, delete this one here because it looks odd. I delete this one because it looks odd, and I delete this one because it looks odd. I mean, you don't need to delete it. You can ju just use this vertex and connect it, but uh, we, we are gonna save ourselves some trouble here. And yeah, let's do control R. Let's do five again. Maybe this should be fine. And let's insert maybe uh, three, maybe. Oh, let's just do one. And then, yeah, place it here and bevel and let's use three okay so we have these aligned this is just a, this is just an idea we're gonna fix everything later okay so um yeah let's just connect this one here as i said hold shift and click always the uh, edges and the opposite edge and do like this okay so then we should uh, take care of this axis here and as you can see uh, let's select this edge here, G, Y, get it over here, so we have more space. And then we insert a loop here, maybe like this. And we need, yeah, as you can see here, I have another loop, but here there's no loop to actually, do, ah, okay, there's a loop to connect. We can use this one and this one and connect it. Yeah, so it's even. Um, and then we can use uh, 
um oh wait 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 so if we do we uh, dissolve these edges and then we do it again because now we have more topology here so we should first connect everything and then use the edge okay um let's move it more to the right side you, we can try to uh, press S, Y, zero, like this. I think it, it doesn't really matter because it's, uh, it has quite a bit of space. So it, I think this looks better. This is much cleaner. And it doesn't really have an impact on this bending here. Okay, so then click on this one, this one, we have another polygon, and this one, and this one, another polygon. Yeah, right. Um, then I think this should be pretty much, this should be pretty much it. Maybe we can uh, select the vertex here, move it a little bit like this, maybe this, just to make it a little bit smoother. Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, I don't really like that here. Maybe click this, G, Y, just to fix our shading issue later. Maybe move it up a little bit. G, Z, maybe like this. This one maybe a little down, G, Z. This is like a really tedious process as I said before but you can make it you can get a fruit you can get rid of a lot of shading issues doing that later on but it doesn't really matter um, if, it, if it looks a, a little odd now because when we smooth it later and then we have subdivision and then we're gonna have a normal map and it looks it will look uh, perfect okay maybe like this I mean, doing this, you can spend hours and hours. We, we don't need to do that now, right now. Okay. So now we have, actually, we have a clean topology here and we have our, um, our, um, how you call it? Our, this, this cylinder here. We have our cylinder for our simple, uh, which is quite, which looks quite cool. So yeah, um, then we should, in the next video, we should move on and doing, uh, and doing this, uh, screw angle here. And then, we take care of uh, our screw, which we have here on the end front of the cylinder. And then we are almost done with our mesh. Okay, so see you in the next video.